Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 53 and verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, no God. Now, who are the wise? The wise are those who trust in God and the Lord Jesus Christ and make him the Lord of their life. The foolish leave God out of their life. They reject him. They may not deny him, but they reject him. But uh, in uh, Psalm 53, 1, the fool says, no God. He's an atheist. Now, the fool and the Hebrew word used here is Nabal means that the fool has a moral problem in the heart and not a mental problem in the head. Let me repeat that because that's very important. The fool has a moral problem in the heart and not a mental problem in the head. The fool is not mentally deficient. In fact, he can be very brilliant, but he has denied the existence of God. And if he denies the existence of God, obviously, he is not going to make room in his heart for God. So we need to ask the question, why is it that even today, there are people who say there is no God? And uh, I have uh, listed uh, a couple of uh, reasons. Uh, but uh, before we, uh, 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 yes, we we'll look at the reasons as to why people say that there is no God. Number one is wrong teachings. And this is especially true for young people who go into the university. You uh, come under the influence of an ungodly professor who would talk you out of God. Many young people lose their faith in the universities because of ungodly professors who wield authority and influence. Close on the heels of that is the second reason, and that is peer pressure, the kind of friends that you hang around with. And if they don't believe in God, it's only a matter of time before they influence you and get you also to come to the same conclusion that there is no God. The third reason why people say there is no God is a very uh, important reason. They look at all the suffering in the world and then they say, if there is a God, how come there is so much of suffering in the world? I mean, there are wars, there are terrible diseases, children are dying. And uh, why doesn't God do something about it? Uh, why doesn't God put an end to suffering? So obviously, God is not there. That's why suffering seems to rule the day. And I know personally of many people who have really struggled with this issue of uh, trying to reconcile uh, the existence of suffering and God. And uh, we need to be compassionate towards such people and try to help them come to that understanding. Yes, there is God, but there is also suffering. And uh, we need to give the reasons as to why there is suffering in the world. So that's the third reason why Many people say no God because of all the suffering that they see in the world. We'll continue looking at this tomorrow. God bless you.